Hey, what's up, Super Players? I'm Spencer from DBZ Dudes, now called The Dudes, and I'm here to play the Naruto card game. And I need an opponent, so. Oh, oh shoot! What the heck, bro, man? I was a S, I was in an S rank mission, and you just popped me out of nowhere. Well, how'd you do that, dude? Summoning Jutsu. Damn. You signed my contract. Damn! <laughs> you signed the contract. <laughs> Summoning Jutsu. Well, we got Spencer from the DBZ dudes. And uh, he's gonna help us out, you know, playing this card game because he was judging and helping out how to play this game. And we're gonna get this game going. So you're ready to see who goes first? Yeah. All right, rock, paper, scissors. One, two, three. I go first. So this is a brand new game. Can you get the die? This is a brand new game. Uh, it's Naruto slash Boruto slash Naruto Shippuden card game, right? Yeah. So first things first, we get six, uh, five, right? Five cards from your from the top of your deck and add it to your guardian stack. So three, four, five. So the guardian stack is like your life, right? It's, yeah. It's like your life. And then after you get five in the guardian stack, we also uh, draw five, right? Yes. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. All right, good. So uh, this is a brand new game. So we're gonna try to you know make this game as easy to understand as possible, right, yeah. Spencer? Yeah. All right. So I, like I was saying, I was in an S rank mission, man. I was about to die, actually. This guy had me uh, tied up, but you summoned me, and so I, I'm I'm all good. So, but I'm I'm glad you brought me out. So now I'm gonna actually play this game. So I go first, right? Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna play a card. You get to draw a card for the very first turn. So you draw one card when you start your turn. Oh, okay. So we draw. So I have five, and I'm gonna start off with a draw, making me six. Yes. All right. Good. So we're gonna try to like say the steps. So five in the life, and then you you have five, and then you draw a card, beginning of your turn. So the way this game works is it's kind of like Dragon Ball. They all have a specific cost. And uh, I'm going to start off by playing Naruto Uzumaki. So the way this game works is what? The so when you play our card, the, the number on the top left corner makes the counter go down that many so right. since he has a cost of three your time goes down three so down three so it goes to the right always right yeah so it goes one two three boom so naruto costs three and in this game i know for a fact that like once the 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 cursor moves to your opponent's side i automatically end my turn so if there's any effects that say when you play this card you still get the effect but your turn ends right after all right good so that's it i guess it's your yeah. turn your turn so I'm gonna drop a turn. Draw. All right, let's see. Let's see what the Spence Meister has. So I am at three energy, yeah. and any time it goes to the other side, it ends my turn. But if I play multiple small cards, it's still my turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, I'm gonna play Shino. Shino, he costs four, right? Yeah, so it goes one, two, three, four. So, so now, now it passed zero, it ends my turn. And so now so it's, it's my turn. Alright, so it's back to me. And you cannot attack with cards that you bring out the turn of, right? Yeah. But now, since Naruto was out, I could now finally attack with him. So I'm going to start off. Naruto's going to attack. It's like Dragon Ball. You put it sideways to show that I'm attacking. I'm attacking you. Okay, so then when you attack, you, he's attacking my life or my guardian stat. And I reveal the top card. And now we do a, a damage check. So my, right. my power is higher than his. Yeah, he's so. a 5. I'm a 2. So my, my dude dies, right? Yeah. But what, what did my Naruto have? If I play it, my battle cards gain minus one on the... In your hand. In my hand. Uh, but but so if he's not on the field, you don't get that effect. Uh, so he died, so I don't get to do that effect, right? Because yeah. I attacked your guardian, so he dies. Oh, Naruto died. And and uh, I get an extra effect. So the, on the bottom right corner, there's a card uh, called ability. That's called the guardian ability. Okay. And when he's revealed through being in the guardian or okay. through, through questing, you, uh, you get the effect. So what this says is I draw one extra deck card, which All is right. this black card. Oh, so you get one of the big cards? Yeah, and they're, right. they're very powerful. Alright, alright. Not bad, not bad. I guess I should have brought something out with Naruto's effect before attacking, but it's all good. I still can play something, and I'm going to play out my my favorite character in Dragon... I mean, Dragon Ball. And Naruto happens to be... Well, favorite villain it happens to be Zabuza. I love Zabuza. So this one makes the timer go up to five to the right, right? So one, two, three, four, five. And since it's, a, it's in my opponent's side, I guess my turn ends, right? Yeah, so now it's my turn. All right. So I draw for turn. Uh, what I'm, you gonna do? I'm gonna play... So four, right? 
Yeah, the timer, I moved the timer to four. So what are you gonna bring out? I'm going to first attack your life. With You're my, attacking my life? With my Shino. And he's a five damage, right? The side corner says how much damage he is? Yeah. All right, so there's no way to really defend attacks when they attack your life or your guardian. So I just have to flip the card over and let's see what it is. And it happens to be a Haku and it's a strength of two. So my guy survives no matter what? Yeah, because he's stronger, right? He's yeah. a five. So, but you get your, your guardian ability. Yeah, the guardian ability in the top right, right? Mm -hmm. So every time they die off the guardian or, you know, a quest, you get the little shield ability. And that little plus two means I get two times back to me. So one, two. So now I only have two energy now. Yeah, so now he has two times, like, energy, if you, if you will. So now I'm going to play... So I lost a life. That kind of hurt. Yeah. So now I'm going to play... Uh... Sasuke. Ooh, Sasuke. So now my timer goes one, two, three, four. But you also get a, a summon ability, right? Yeah, so it says when I play this card, I draw one extra card. So I draw another big card. Dang. All and right. now it's your turn. My turn because the cursor went to my side. I draw a card. And you know what? I'm going to have my Zabuza. I cannot attack battle cards. That's what it says right there. But he has that little thing. The minus three, meaning when he attacks, I get to drop the cost of a card in my hand by three, right? Yes, it's I called can't... leader. Leader. All right, attack your guardian. So I'm going to reveal the top part right. of my guardian. I get my ability. You right. win that battle no matter what. And I draw one card and one extra deck card, and I discard two. All right, so that's her little guardian ability, right? When she gets flipped over with the guardian? Yeah, so I'm going right. to discard a Gara. All right, and then... And a Konkuro. All right, and Zabuza also has the little, um, what is that called? The additional damage, yeah. meaning I take one additional guardian, so you gotta flip a, another one. That's how strong Zabuza is. And then I get the ability to draw one extra. All right, all right, good. So I took two of his lives. I'm getting closer to, you know, Wait. dropping the the the, <laughs> the hidden leaf village's shield, so then I can attack directly to the village. And then I still, it's still my turn technically, so I'm gonna play out you know, I'm gonna play out this dude right here. This guy's clutch. I'm gonna play out Gara, and he has—he's pretty much a blocker. What is that called? It's called Sentinel. He's a Sentinel slash blocker for Dragon Ball Super card game affiliates. But pretty much, he shields me. That means he has to attack Gara, just like in the anime. You know, he's defending. He has to attack Gara to get to my shield, and he has a summoning ability that when I bring him out, I get to get one of my EX cards to my hand. And this moves the cursor four times. One, two, three, four. Did you forget your leader? So it goes actually one, two, three. Oh, he's right. He, yeah. So he's only a one cost. He's a one cost because, no, he, oh yeah, because he drops him down by three. Yeah, you're right. He's a one cost. But the thing about Sentinel, so when you play a card, it usually comes in normal as an active. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but you get the option to play him sideways, which is uh, because he has a Sentinel Because he has a Sentinel, the little X thing means he's like a little blocker, right? Yeah, and if a card in Sentinel is sideways, then I can't attack your life stack. But yeah, I can yeah. attack any of your... Yeah, my, my battle cards. Yeah. All right, good. Yeah, I forgot that Zabuza drops my next battle card by three, making Gara one drop. That's actually very helpful. And you know what? Let's uh, let's do some actual plays. So I'm gonna, you know, summoning Jutsu. <laughs> Pop him. The way that you bring out the big cards, you you blow it up. So five plus five plus four is nine. So I'm able to bring out an uh, EX card, which is one of the big cards from my hand that happens to be that amount or less. And pff, I'm playing the Doria summoning Jutsu. He's my second favorite villain. And what he does is uh when he blows up one of your cards no when he attacks when he, he attacks one of your cards and get their playability all right all right sounds good and he has a little foot meaning fast meaning I, he can attack as soon as i bring it out because in this game when you bring out a card he can't attack that turn off unless they have that fast ability and he's very freaking good and i do not have to pay my time because if you bring out an ex card right spencer yeah. i do not have to uh actually move the cursor so that's freaking clutch. And since I can attack, I'm going to attack your guardians. So now I'm going to reveal the top one. One and... Wins the battle. I win the battle because seven to two. And he has an additional one, so I take out one more. Okay. Damn, so his village is open for a direct attack. But unfortunately, I, I have to play something. Uh, so I don't know what to play. I guess I'm going to play uh, this... 
Jiraiya. Boom! Jiraiya, you know, the pervy sage. And one, two, three, four, five. So now it's my turn. Every, Back to him. Any card that was sideways now goes right side up. Yeah, they kind of restand. And his village is open for a direct attack, so he needs to either bring more life to his guardian stack or try to finish me off. This is getting hard for him right now. I'm telling you, I was in an S rank mission. He summoned me from an S rank mission, so you know I was I was going in. He was I was about to die too. I'm going to attack your life directly. Oh my life? Alright. Yeah. You're going for my guardian stack? Yeah. Alright, so let's see what comes out. So this is the, the good part about this game. It's all random. So boom, I got a Hiroko. I think I said it right. He's a six. That's a four. So my, my so guy now died. Kills. I have this special ability called Legion, meaning oh, Legion. if he is destroyed, uh, I take the top card of my deck, add it to my graveyard, and if it's a battle card, I add it to my hand. Oh, that's so clutch. So now I get Kiba in my hand. That's pretty clutch. All right, we got that Kiba. I still got three Guardian stacks, and his village is open. So let's see what you know Spencer from DBZ dudes does. So I'm going to play Kiba. All right. So he costs one, two. Move the cursor twice. And now I am going to destroy him. <laughs> oh shoot, he's a what, a one? A he's two. a two. Oh, so you get to bring out a two one. Oh, you're just summoning Jutsu for the for the, the, the big toad? Yeah, big toad. And so what Kiba does, it says if he's destroyed, I get one time. Oh, so, so you get an additional time. Damn, that's hella clutch. And the, uh, he has also Sentinel, fast, and he can attack twice. And when I play this Ooh. card, I draw one. Damn, that guy's hella good. Just yeah. like in the, just like in the anime. Exactly. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attack your life. My guardian. Yeah. All right. So let's see what happens. He's a four cost. So if I get something that's higher than four or equal to four, he dies. And I got Naruto Uzumaki, and he's a five, so it blows him up. Even though I still have attacks, since he's blown up, yeah. his attacks are now done. Yeah. So and like if. He wouldn't have been dead, he would have picked up an, an additional guardian stack. So uh, I'm lucky on that part. And then I'm going to attack your life. My life, my other guardian going for my guardian is going to flip it over. He's a five and he's a five. So it's equal to, so they both die. Dang. So it's, it's, it's getting, it's getting, it's getting dangerous here. He has nothing. I have one and he has still technically a couple of time he could use. Yeah. So let's see what he does. He's gonna have to play a Sentinel out there. Or something. Something that defends him from me attacking directly. And I, I got my Jiraiya too, and he's no joke. He's pretty strong. So I'm going to play Scythe. He costs six. Ooh, he costs six. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And when I play him, I choose one of your cards and add it to your hand. Oh, you bounce it back? Oh, Dictoria, he's so good too. All right, and that's it? And that's the end of my turn. All right, so I draw. Uh, then I'm going to attack your village directly. You have no more guardians, so I think that's the game, right? That's the game. I finished the game, so let me do a finishing jutsu. One eternity later. Blow up the field. Kaduke! That's going to be the end of the Naruto game. If you guys have any questions, hit it up in the comment section below to check out the DBZ Dudes channel. Uh, I'll put it in the description so you guys could go check them out. They play Dragon Ball Super Card Game. And you guys got to get into this uh, this Naruto game. Yeah, we plan to uh, start doing videos on Naruto too. Yeah, they might start doing videos on Naruto. So if you guys want like uh, help with the Naruto scene, because I'm mostly Dragon Ball, but I'll try to get some Naruto videos here and there. If we could get over 100 likes on this video, we'll bring out another Naruto battle, alright? And like what we say, y'all stay super!